Uh, in case you were wondering, I am not uh, standing here to entertain you. <laughs> uh, Joe was, was wondering uh, why there are so many vendors uh, at the robot. <laughs> the reason is because vendor is becoming a little bit small. Uh, so we are standing at, 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 at the robots now. Um, a distinguished uh, gentleman, it's mainly gentlemen, um, Tim Noakes, I, I actually do like your diet. Um, it is really a, a, a great pleasure for me to welcome you uh, to this event. This event is really about what do we have to do as humans. I'm a member of a congregation and they say being a human means you must have a sound mind, body and soul. And I'm sure Tim uh, a great deal of what you're going to talk about will be how do we take care of our bodies? And by taking care of our bodies, we obviously take care of our, of our minds. Now, as I was uh, reflecting on, on this introduction, I thought of three things that I think define what I call a good life. One of them is self-reverence, self-knowledge, and self-control. These three alone lead life to sovereign power. Why is uh, self-knowledge so important? No, it, it is important because uh, knowing your limitations actually prepares you to deal with the world and its complexity, whether it is through the health, whether it is through many other uh, adversities that we will actually encounter. And I think what Tim is going to, to be teaching us here, uh, because I, I consider this a lesson, is what are some of the ways in which we can be able to, uh, to, to use uh, 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 knowing our bodies, uh, what we like, and what diet do we choose in order to have a, a fulfilling life. The second uh, principle that I talked about was uh, the issue of uh, self-control. Uh, I do like chocolate uh, after 11 uh, in the evening. I think uh, self-control is very, very important. And I don't necessarily agree with Joe. Uh, you should not drink and, and drive. Yeah, that is what we call self-control. And the reason are very simple. If we all drink and drive, it can be chaos and a great deal of people can actually lose their, uh, their lives. The other one was uh, self-reflex. Having deep respect of yourself means you have to eat what is appropriate for you. you see, I, was, uh, I grew up a vegetarian. Uh, and when I was growing up, uh, I, I kept on asking, uh, why was why have I been a vegetarian? My mother told me that when I was about three, uh, three, two, three years old, uh, I just stopped eating meat. And then obviously it worried my mother quite a great deal. And uh, I think when I was about 16, uh, my, my mother heard that there is some, somebody in the village who is incidentally now the chairman of the National Lottery Board, who is able to play and so those who don't eat meat, they will eat meat. <laughs> and uh, my mother obviously did exactly that, and uh, he came and played for me. Not a huge book, which I interrogated him uh, a few years back. What, what was inside that big book? He couldn't even remember the book. But, uh, but uh, and this was, uh, <coughs> interestingly, uh, uh, the, the prayer probably worked, because I did eat meat, but five years later, and that was because uh, the Americans had very, very poor diet for vegetarians. So uh, I think, uh, 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 Tim, we are very glad that you are here with us. We would like to use your knowledge so that we can be able to advance uh, ourselves, our bodies, and our minds, so that we can become useful members uh, of, 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 of society. I'm going to leave you with a, a word that was said by 
and someone called Hillel uh, the, the Elder. He's quoted as having said, and this apparently he said it many, many thousands of years ago. If I cannot be for myself, who will be for me? But if I'm only for myself, who am I? If not now, when? I think uh, this is the time for us to listen to you, team. Thank you very much.